Hey Lee, my name is Jared. I did try and search for your website, um, but I had several different websites come up when I searched for California Auto Glass. So I don't know if you guys have more than one website, if you guys are using more than one GMB. Um, you know, valid strategies. I just need to make sure I'm getting you the most relevant content to you. So what we're going to do is just kind of talk real quick about how we can get you in front of some of those folks that are using Google to try and find people to help them with their Auto Glass services that they need. All right, so Google gets 63,000 searches per second. And we just want to talk about, again, how do we get in front of those, right? So we're going to explain three different ways to get you on the front page of Google. And we're going to talk about how to find the certain keywords that you'd like to be targeting and then how to get you ranked for those keywords. So my name is Jared, and we're going to jump right into this quick. All right, Lee, so what I came up with here is I went ahead and searched California Auto Glass. And again, like I said, there's many different search results that come up for that. Um, because California is also, you know, a keyword. So you're, if that's your business name, that's also a keyword. Um, so good on you, but, you know, uh, it's, it makes it difficult to find you directly, right? So if this is you right here, the website is under construction, which you know. So what we're going to do is just look for a competitor, and we're just going to talk about that um, to kind of give you an overview of the services that we can provide you and how we can be a service, right? So Let's jump into a new search and look for a competitor. All right, so I went ahead and just searched Autoglass San Jose just to kind of give us um, an idea of our competition here. Two different companies are running ads at the top. So this is not a great uh, keyword to jump in there, being the third and fourth business is not super beneficial, right? So um, right here is another opportunity. If we look for other keywords that do not have somebody already running an ad here, a good opportunity to go ahead and do that. Even if we are ranking organically up here, it's great to have more than one up here. So you can see that these guys have low price auto glass twice. And so whether or not that's the same company or different companies is yet to be determined. Um, but having more than one of these locations is going to increase your odds of getting clicked on. So when we're getting look, when we're looking to get ranked here in the organic section of the map pack, your name, address, and phone number need to be on as many directories as possible with exact match. So not even a small difference. And then you need to have good descriptions on each one of those, really building out that keyword presence. Right here is going to be the organic section of the uh, search results here. So this is where we want to land your website itself. All right. So having your content built out, having your photos named properly, really connecting your homepage to all your back pages, interlinking all of that, and then really going out and getting the same backlinks and domains that your competitors are already getting to outrank them. All right. So we want to go out and get all of their good ones, cherry pick through them is what we do. And then we go out and get a few additional ones that we can find as well. All right. So here we are. We clicked on safelight.com and it's just a little piece of their website, right? This is one location page of their website that they're getting ranked. And so what we want to do is take, take this website here because we're not going to use this for any design inspiration. We're going to use it for keywords and other search result information. So we're going to jump right in here to this tool called AREFs. And we're going to go ahead and see what we can find as we do a little bit of research on it. All right, so as you can see here, this 13, this is going to be their actual uh, page that I put in here at the top. So this back page of San Jose, and then the actual entire website. So all of the back pages, all of their locations, everything that they have to offer is going to be ranking at a 71. This is not the number that we need to focus on, right? We need to focus on this 13. We need to outrank that. And then we need to come in here and outrank these backlinks. Not, It's not going to be exactly three or four we want to get you know 40 or 50 um, but the point is is that we're not competing with the entire website we're competing with this one little page of their website right so we can definitely outrank that 49 keywords is all they're getting found for but it is driving 144 people each month to their website so let's go ahead and jump into those keywords and see what they're getting found for so right here the safe light so somebody who already knows safe light from a commercial or something like that they're going to be searching for that so you know, you could put an ad on the SafeLight name. So anytime somebody searches for SafeLight, you can go ahead and have an ad run at the top. So that would be uh, pretty cost effective there. But otherwise, we want to look for keywords like this. So windshield replacement is what I'm looking for. And I need somebody who can do it in San Jose. So I need a car window repair, and I need it in San Jose, right? So these are the keywords we really want to target. What do I need? And where do I need it? And we can find all of these and we can see exactly which ones are getting the biggest search volume. So there's 200. There's one that's 100 down here. Here's this one's pretty vague. I wouldn't really target that one. Um, but we're going to target those big ones first. And then we're going to trickle down and target some of these smaller ones also 
but we're not going to give them as much attention until our big ones are ranking number one, right? So it's just kind of a process where we go through and rank these words and kind of make sure our website is getting found for them properly. When we go to look for a competitor to outrank them with their backlinks, we really want to kind of analyze their backlinks that they already have, right? And we're going to cherry pick through these. So out of these three, none of them are giving them do follow credit, which is not good. Uh, but out of the three, this linkmeo.com is going to be the one that we'd want to go grab. And we'd probably leave these two at the bottom alone. All right. But the other thing we can do is since we're just trying to outrank these folks, we're going to use their entire website, right? So now they have 4,200 different backlinks that we can go and use. So if you're not on YouTube, get on YouTube, get on Pinterest, get on Wikipedia, all these different things to help get your website ranked. But we're going to click over here and organize it by do follows. And then you can see right away, homestead.com is going to be a winner. You want to go get homestead.com, get that under your belt if it's possible. So these are going to be pretty low ranking. You see all these numbers are real low. Dishafixtures.com, not bad. I would check that out and kind of see if it's a good one. But all these two fours, you know, single digits, I would avoid those. This tolsoilers.com, uh, uh, we'd have to look into that, kind of see what they're all about. But all of these that have, you know, more than a 30, for their DR rating is going to be good to go and get as long as they're giving these do follow links, which they all are so far, right? So if we go to the back, you'll see that they stop giving do follow links. So these websites start to fall off. Um, they're not giving them a lot of credit. They're just going out and trying to establish themselves as wide of a base as possible. All right, Lee, that is all I've got for you. Again, I wish I had um, more to give you with actually going through your website, but you know, if that was you that I found, it looks like your website is being built. And so our job as SEO professionals is to come in behind your website builder, uh, possibly work with them to help, you know, make sure we have the proper access to the website or that they can help, you know, do some of these tasks. But point is, is we do not build the website. We specialize in getting it ranked, right? So once you get that thing built, go ahead and give us a call and let's get on top of getting it ranked for you. Thanks, Lee.